Shapiro, bring that ass here, boy. Let's go back into your past. <laughs> and let's compare it. Because you said just now, when you're 17, 18, you write a lot of dumb stuff. Well, you're much older than that, and so am I. So let's see if you wager your facts and no longer say dumb stuff. Because as Ben Shapiro loves to point out, facts do not care about your feelings. I say, look at this child. Look at this child. This is an angry child. Why don't you listen to this angry child? My answer is I generally don't listen to angry children. I have two of them. There's no reason for me to listen to angry children that I don't actually love. I like. As a comedian, he stopped saying dumbass things. He made this one You're not even making sense. Ice cream. So his friend replies, "Only spoonful." This leads to King Bat pulling out a comically <laughs> large spoon. Even my notifications, even my notifications, match. Good sir. I know what you're trying to allude to here. That it would make no sense in any given... Are you comparing your two children to a third child? Do your two children give a fuck about climate change? What are you comparing them? What is the comparison? Their age? Didn't you raise them? So do they not give a shit? Now that we are aware that climate change is irreversible, that somebody set himself on fire. But if she's saying what they're saying now, does that make her smarter than they were before? Or does that mean everybody's just been saying it? And you disregarded this child. Well, at this point now an adult, because for some reason y'all have got got this magical she turns 18 type shit in the eyes of the law weirdos are, are you are you what 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 are you saying like my own kids i don't know greta thunberg maybe she's wonderful no clue but i'm not sure why i would listen to her yell about global warming when she proposes solutions that are patently insane and i say that advisedly her solutions to global warming are patently insane and yet they are propped up by everybody in the media. She's a great heroine. We put her on the cover of magazines because she, her entire agenda is to go around and scream at adults about how terrible the adults are because they're not doing what she wants them to do. That is the basis of your show. That is the basis of your political commentary. You, if that is literally what you do for a living, making milk, you have Daily Wire Plus. So what this sort of raises the question, what exactly does she want them to do? Right. Because after all, if she is screaming that the adults aren't doing it, it would be good to know what exactly she wants them to do. So Great here's point. what Greta Thunberg wants the adults to do. And this has been again, the adult Al Gore shows up and he's like, I'm here. The earth has a fever. And Greta Thunberg is the only thing that can cure this fever. The Al Gore fever. This is the Ben Shapiro charity hour. That was actually funny. <laughs> that that was and it's all more laughing because if I am taking everything in such a chunk I'm gonna give you credit for that one so he, he was there praising her she's so important it's deeply important so Greta Thunberg 17 year old global warming wunderkind apparently here was her solution her solution to the problem of global warming and it is crazy guys it took you 37 seconds to get back we don't need a low carbon economy. We don't need to lower emissions. Our emissions have to stop if we are to have a chance to stay below the 1.5 degree target. And until we have the technologies that at scale can put our emissions to minus, then we must forget about net zero. We need real zero. She was right. She was right. She was right. 
She was right. Oh my God, that means whatever you say after this is wrong. She was right. She was correct. Like the general scientific consensus across the globe is that she is correct. We Shut need the fuck up. what? Suck a dick. Fucking Not mean. net zero. So net zero that means that we dick. sort of don't produce any additional emissions beyond the rate to which we are currently producing. Yeah, what advice? Real is? zero. So real zero means that you actually shut down the entire economy of the world, of the world, and unless you th no, it doesn't think that I'm exaggerating. Go what ahead. exactly she is calling for? What, Here's Greta Thunberg, what she actually said at Davos, and she was uh -huh. praised by the media for this. Uh -huh. The real reason she's getting praised, of course, is because she yells at the adults. And what the left loves to do is prop up children who yell at adults. And that way, if you attack what the children are saying, if you say, listen, seems like a nice enough young woman, like I'm, I'm not arguing with her passion, that's fine. She has an agenda, that's fine too. I'm arguing with her agenda. That way the left can say, you're attacking a child, don't you? He skirts around, he skirts around not saying, you know, I'm not attacking the child, but then they're gonna say I'm attacking the child. <laughs> I, I mean, I am attacking the child, but I'm not attacking the child. Ben, this is produced. You could just not put that in. <coughs> Oh my God, this aged like milk. <laughs> you see, you're attacking it. They, they do the same thing with regard to gun control. They love trotting out children so that they can say, you Thank are you attacking for the this poor victimized child. And it's like, well, no, I think that the argument's bad. I'm not attacking the kid, but. Oh, but he don't, does he know? Does he know? What was he cooking? What was he cooking? Hold up. Let's let bro cook. All right. L let's see what he going to chef up. The reason that the left props her up is that she says crazy things, but then she also says that she's mad at the adults. Why won't you listen to the children? The children are the wisest among us. Here's Greta Thunberg ripping on the adults. And this is what, of course, has made her a media phenomenon. I've been warned that telling people to panic about the climate crisis is a very dangerous thing to do. But don't worry, it's fine. Trust me, I've done this before, and I can assure you it doesn't lead to anything. <laughs> and, and for the record, when we children tell you to panic, we're not telling you to go on like before. We're not telling you to rely on technologies that don't even exist today at scale and that science says perhaps never will. We're, we're telling you to panic. We're telling you to panic. I'm telling you to panic. I said I wanted you to panic. She said this one year ago, I came to Davos and told you our house is on fire. I said, I wanted you to panic. Now, normally when anybody tells you to panic, that's a bad idea. When I want Ben Shapiro in the ring. I want him in the ring. One hour, debate style, paradigm, the shift, the shift versus the Shapiro. Shift Shapiro, one. Then we could do Shift Shapiro, two. Shift Shapiro, three. And then Shift Shapiro, four. A brand new world. Then we could do Shift Shapiro 5, Return of the Shapiro. And then we could do um, Shift, uh, Shapiro Shift 6, the twist. The twist is, is that we twisted our names around. Shift Shapiro 7, Global Meltdown. Here we go again. Again. When a child tells you to panic, you're like, no, you're a child. I'm not going to panic over the possible increase in global temperature of at maximum four degrees Celsius, according to the IPCC, over the course of the next century. In fact, what we should be attempting is mitigation, right? What we should be attempting is adaptation. This is not to say that we can't take measures that would lower carbon emissions. In fact, the United States fracking for natural gas has lowered our carbon emissions dramatically. Nuclear power lowers, pow lowers emissions dramatically. But her actual proposal, the one that's being praised, quote, 
We demand at this year's World Economic Forum, participants from all companies, banks, institutions, and governments immediately halt all investments in fossil fuel exploration and extraction, immediately end all fossil fuel subsidies, and immediately and completely divest from fossil fuels. Every company is supposed to stop using fossil fuels. Every government is supposed to stop using fossil fuels. Every institution is supposed to stop using fossil fuels. She says, we don't want these things done by 2050, 2030, even 2021. We want this done now. It may seem like we're asking for a lot. And you will, of course, say that we are naive. But this is just the very minimum amount of effort that is needed to start the rapid, sustainable transition. Um, well, since you are talking about the end of civilization as it currently exists, yeah, that seems like a lot. I'm just going to put it out there that that seems like a lot and it doesn't. Sell the houses to who, Ben? Fucking Aquaman? He's the one with the millions of dollars. He's the intellectual giant. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my lord, have mercy on my soul! You know, he would step across the line. Habitually, he's a habitual line stepper. Oh. Caucasian overload! Caucasian overload! Caucasian overload! Caucasian overload! Caucasian! Or let's just let's just do let's let, you know what? I'm ending this this way. I'm I I I I'm I'm ending it this way. Oh wait, yeah, you did link the clip. I guess we should do that as a part of this segment. That makes sense. The point being, this is the point. Not being clear, we're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. Okay. Okay. Um, well, it's, um, you know, just something we do around here. You know, we just keep the bad news light. Oh, you see, John, you're outside enjoying yeah. the sunshine. It's not too hot, is it? No, it's, it's absolutely lovely. It's, what, 20 degrees out here. It's perfect. But um, on a serious note, folks, um, by early next week, you can scrap 20 degrees. It could well be 40 degrees. I think there will be hundreds, if not thousands, of excess deaths early next week. Yeah. The charts that I can see in front of me are frightening. So we all like nice weather, but this will not be nice weather. This will be potentially lethal weather for a couple of days it'll be brief but it'll be brutal oh, so john, you know but, we can we can, oh, oh, yeah. so this is so john i want us to be happy about the weather and every single i don't know whether something's happened to meteorologists to make you all a little bit fatalistic and, and <laughs> harbingers of doom because all of the broadcasts particularly on on the bbc every time i've turned on anyone's talking about the weather they're saying that there's going to be Tons of fatalities, but haven't we always had hot weather, John? I mean, wasn't the '76, the summer of '76, that was as hot as this, wasn't it? Uh, no, uh, and you know we are seeing more and more records, more and more frequently, and more and more severely. Uh, so yeah, some people always hark back to the summer of '76, which was a freak event, forty odd years ago, over forty years ago. Uh, but heat waves are becoming more extreme. This is yet another one which is coming down the tracks towards us. And, you know, I don't think we should be too...
many people would agree uh, that we have to wean ourselves off oil, but at the same time, they deeply resent having their personal lives massively interrupted. How big is this thing? Could it, like, destroy someone's house? Is that possible? Yeah, I don't think any of us want to be disrupting people's lives, but I think given the science and the acad things that academics are saying about what oil is causing around the world and in this country too, this is the level of action that needs to be taken. It's somewhere between six and nine kilometers across, so it, it's big. It would damage the, the entire planet, not just a house. I wonder if any of you have read the latest IPCC reports that have come out this year, yeah. you know, what they have said is that we are on the road for climate catastrophe. Okay, well, as it's damaging, will it hit this one house in particular that's right on the coast of New Jersey? It's my ex-wife's house. I needed to be here. And the clothes that you're wearing, to some extent, owe their existence to oil because they were taken in a car or a truck or a van to a shop, you know? I'm yeah. sorry, are we, uh, are we not being clear? We're talking about crop failure by 2030. We're talking about people in this country right now in fuel poverty because of the prices of oil. No, and you're talking no, no, about no, no, the no, no, clothes no, that no, I'm no, wearing. No. We're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. Well, and for those who are planning to get away over the Easter holidays, could they expect more disruption, do you think? There's something we do around here. You know, we just keep the bad news light. Fix it. Fix it. Elon, Elon, whoever. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it.